industries. Jeff Gillen is there live to tell us more about this threat. That's right. Good evening, everybody. In this day and age, no threat can be overlooked. They arrive at Pahrump Valley High School when some seniors were calling it a day. I feel safe because there's a lot of patrol that's been going around lately. The reason I asked senior Daniel Cifuentes if he feels safe at school is this week police arrested a 14-year-old boy for making bomb threats. Police got the tip Wednesday. Their initial investigation indicated the threat was a misunderstanding. But after they put out a press release, they started hearing from other students who told them about other alleged threats this boy was making. So police swung back into action on Thursday. By the end of the evening, we were able to determine that there was enough probable cause for an arrest based on the additional threats and the information we had received. In 2018, no high school or police department can take chances. In this case, the initial tip came through this website set up by Nevada to report threats, which makes police very happy that people are coming forward. I think we have finally improved the system enough that we're getting information early on, which is the whole point of some of these systems. The high school here has seen several cases of threats this year. Luckily, nothing's happened. Mark Daytu's a senior. We just take these threats as in, as if like, hey, it's just some dude who wants attention, you know. But it's 2018. And even at this small high school, they see the world around them. Of course, we cannot always be safe, but then, but then you know, we always got to be ready. That's right. Back now live here in Pahrump. Police turned that boy over to juvenile authorities. He is home, by the way, on house arrest tonight. And police tell me it is the first time he's been in trouble. Live in Pahrump, I'm Jeff Gillen, News 3.